Welcome to the Angle File Channel. Tonight, we're on the red carpet for the Warner Brothers worldwide premiere of Into the Storm, starring Richard Armitage. I can't wait for you to see the movie. Let's talk to the stars. How are you doing? Very good. Lovely, Richard. I just saw you a couple of weeks ago, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm stalking you, but we could have gotten a twofer on the flight. We could have done, couldn't we? We could, we could have. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't have time to talk to you uh, at length. You've got lipstick on your face. Has someone been kissing you? Someone's oh, been you air take kissing. Take it off! Take it off! <laughs> Whose lipstick is that? Listen. So look at the last time we sat down together. For the three of you that don't know, we did a 45-minute sit-down interview. <laughs> that you probably don't know this because I know you're not online went completely viral around the yes, world. It, yes. it went madly, madly viral to the point where they want me to change the name of TAC to uh, the Armitage yeah, Channel. Yes, okay, so I, I don't know. So they all expect me to get the inside scoop tonight. I don't know what to tell them. What is the inside scoop? I don't know. Into the Storm is the inside scoop. Come and see our film and uh, yeah, make us, make us a summer hit. Listen, it's awesome. I, I want to talk about the beard a little, but I want to talk about into the storm because I heard a rumor that told me Richard actually has a water phobia and I don't know if I believe that because yeah a water phobia but I don't know if I believe that because I think you pick your projects according to how drenched you're actually going to get. Do you know what every every job I've ever done there's always uh, been a rewrite where there's some scene where I have to dive into water and it terrifies me and I this this wasn't in the script at the beginning and they came in a rewrite but um, you know the good thing is when you watch it back you can see how scared the actor is trying to do it and uh, I don't know it, it just kind of adds to it to an edge in the movie. So how how realistic were the conditions set for you on, on location? Everything that you see in the close vicinity to the axis is real. So the wind and rain is real. We threw trees through windows. We dropped a truck from the sky. We, Sarah and I were on wires in the street, which I never expected I would do in a million years. So it really felt like we were going through this experience that the characters are going through. I mean, when you guys are blown, you actually meet her in unusual circumstances, right? You're actually being blown by the, the tornado and you're hanging on for dear life and you grab her. How did you guys do that, that, that shot? How was that shot created? That's the scene where we were on the wires and they, they rigged up a crane in the street and we kind of found as, as many different um, extreme positions because we could rehearse in the air, you know? Um, so we just found something that looked as realistic as possible with, without looking like we were actually hanging on a wire. Uh, and we, we did it kind of four or five times, but what a way to meet. A, a potential future wife, do you know what I mean? I loved it, I loved it. So how plausible do you think a storm like this is hitting? I mean, two and three tornadoes hitting with this, within the span of minutes in the same town. You know what, everything we did in the, in the movie was possible. It wasn't based on anything real, but as we were shooting, I was looking on the internet and, and finding w w things that were in our script. You know, the, the final tornado is a mile wide tornado, which we all kind of guffawed at and thought, this is ridiculous. Since we've shot this, it's happened. So, I don't know, there, there is some kind of documentation of, of what's happening in our weather. But you don't get tornadoes in England. We don't. We get we get leaves spinning in a circle, but that's about it. That's yeah. No. Yeah. Now look, well, you got to tell your your fans you're out doing the Crucible in London. We actually saw it, and they 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 we came, and it was to say it was amazing is an understatement. The the, the way that you put your soul and left it out there on stage for all of us to devour was just incredible. How do you find the energy? Where do you find the energy to do that night after night? And then at the end of the show, come out and say hi to all your fans waiting outside. How do you do that? Yeah, it's, it's something you can't think about too much, especially when you've got to do it twice in a day. You just play it moment to moment. The thing about that play is it just takes you, the, 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 you know, every moment just grabs you and takes you forward. And, you know, sometimes you think I'll, I'll just kind of keep this one low key and you can't. It, it, it's a uh, there's an, a place to take that character to, and every, every night, it, it's sort of, the play gets you there. Arthur Miller gets you there. How long does it take you to leave John Proctor behind when you go home at night, or, or can you? Uh, I kind of don't. I, he's, he's, all, he's there. I'm living like a monk at the moment. I'm not drinking anything. I'm kind of, you know... I'm not going to ask him out for a drink boring. then. I'm terribly boring at the moment. But, you know, I have to because there's a big responsibility to get on stage every night and deliver that performance because, you know, it's, it's what the play deserves. Well, it's spectacular. I foresee an Olivier Award for you. 
absolutely, Richard, you really gave me chills. It was listen. incredible, and I cried and everything. So listen, we're doing a contest, huh? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Good luck tonight. The film was amazing. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah, yes, I have. The sound has been added since I saw it last, oh the 3D God. sound. I spent the whole movie screaming, my eyes covered, then open. Oh, good. It just yeah, scared yeah, the crap good. out of me. I was exhausted by the end of it. Very good. Very good. good luck. Well, that felt like old home week for me. It was amazing catching up with Richard and not only talking about the fan reaction to our interview back in February, but talking about uh, his performance in The Crucible and how fantastic we thought it was. And then talking to him a little bit about uh, Into the Storm as well. So we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us on another red carpet. This has been Marlies Bolin with the Anglophile Channel. <laughs>